Hi. I'd like to introduce you to my first student for this DVD. This is Jumani Smith. And Jumani's one of my students here at the Lincoln Center Program for Jazz Studies. Uh, we're going to talk about breathing because Jumani, as he knows from studying with me, breathing is the most important thing about playing a wind instrument. If you're a singer, if you're a clarinet player, breathing is where the sound starts. Now, Jumani, do you know where your lungs are located? Yeah, the lungs are located between here and here. Right, but it's not just on the front of your body, is it? No. No, the lungs fill up the entire chest cavity and they run through all the way through to the back. Now, we have a muscle in our body called the diaphragm, which sits just under the lungs. This is muscle runs around the entire body and it's the most important to use for your breathing. It'll make playing the trumpet incredibly easier. First of all, let's find the diaphragm. Now, Jumani, I want you to put your hand right about here on yourself. Okay. And I want you to pretend that you're at one end of a parking lot and you've got a friend all the way at the other and it's noisy. And you want to get his attention. So just shout, ha. Ha! What happened? What happened to your body under your hand there? Well, I felt my diaphragm go in. Well, you see, he studied with me before. He knows all the right answers. That's where your diaphragm is located. Right there. Whatever must You try it. You say ha. Huh, put your hand here and feel that. Wherever you feel the movement, there's where your diaphragm is located. Now, we started with the front of the body. But the diaphragm runs around the entire body just like a belt. As a matter of fact, Jumani, you put your hand back on me, right on the small of my back there, and listen to what happens when I say, ha! I feel the move. The muscles contracted right around the small of the back in the front, in this whole belt in front of you. Now let's practice. Now that you know where your diaphragm is, let's practice using it to breathe in as well as out. You want to do sort of the ha in reverse. Mm. Watch me first, and then you can do it. You go, and then on the way in, also think of ha. Watch what happens. You try it. Mm -hmm. Wow, did you see how the lungs filled from the bottom and then all the way up to the top? And it was just because he used that diaphragm muscle. Now, I used an image with Jumani that he told me he liked, so I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. If you imagine two balloons inside a glass jar, the opening, the top of the balloons are at the top of the jar and the opening is open, but the bottom of the jar contains a rubber membrane. What we're going to do is grab the jar and pull down on that rubber membrane. It's going to create a vacuum in the cavity of the jar and the balloons will fill. This is the sort of thing you want to do when you use your diaphragm. You think about pulling the diaphragm, not necessarily in or out, but I think down from the center of your body, just as you would grab that diaphragm on the jar. Pull it down and the lungs and the balloons will expand naturally. And one other further thing that's important is you want to make sure to stand with good posture because your skeleton has weight and when you breathe, in order to fill your whole lung, you're going to have to push against the weight of that skeleton if you're not standing properly. So stand up good and straight for me. <laughs> there you go, you got it. And let's just take a couple of breaths, and then we'll, after this we'll come back with a nice exercise I think you'll enjoy. Ready? Here we go. Just do this with us. Good. Think of that ha both ways. Good. Do that for a little while and we'll be right back with a nice exercise. Thank you. Hi, welcome back. Well, you can tell what we did was just to suspend a piece of regular newspaper from a microphone boom stand here. If you're home, the best thing to do is just tape a piece of newspaper into an open doorway. And the only important thing to remember is that the level of your mouth should be about three quarters of the way down the piece of newspaper. And now I'm going to bring Jumani in and we're going to do some exercises with this newspaper. Ma Jumani, stand about six inches away from the newspaper. Great. Now get a good lung full of air and blow the newspaper away from you. It doesn't have to go far, but we want to see how long you can hold it out there. Take a good deep breath. Okay. You are a strong fellow. Not quite so far, Not but so let's far. see how long. All right. Mm. 
There we are. This is an exercise that will help you control the diaphragm and control the air that comes out of your lungs. And you work to increase the duration of your breath and hold the newspaper at the same level. Now, let's go for another one. You remember what you did the first time? Mm -hmm. Blow it out as far as you can and see how long you can hold it there. Okay. Okay, great. Two points. First of all, you work for duration and then you're working for distance is our second half. But I don't want to, I shouldn't hear anything, any noise through your lips. Okay. We just want to work on the air. That means you're contracting your lips a little too much. Okay. Make the opening a little more wide so right. that you don't get that sound. And let's just work on your air. Once again. Great, so when you practice at home, you practice this daily to try and increase distance and your duration. Now we have one other way of using this newspaper. Do you remember shouting to your friend across the parking lot in that right. diaphragm contraction? Mm -hmm. Well, I want you to get up next to that newspaper and do diaphragm contractions just like this to make the paper jump. <laughs> get up close to it and All make right. it jump. There you go. Great, great work, Jumani. These are three things you can do with this newspaper that will help you gain control over your breath and your diaphragm. We're going to be back with a couple more in just a minute. Bye. This next exercise was shown to me by a wonderful tuba player, and you know how much air a tuba player needs to play. So this will increase the amount of air you can get into your lung at the same time as working your diaphragm for that inhale. What you do, and watch me do it first before you do it, you make a fist, then you exhale, and breathe in against the fist, making it difficult to get air through that fist, and concentrating on pulling down with that diaphragm. Once you've got a whole lung full of air doing that, you exhale and inhale quickly. Watch me do it. You try it, Jumani. Okay. Just exhale, make a fist, and pull in. Now make sure you're working the diaphragm and make it difficult to get air through that fist. Go ahead. Good, keep pulling with that diaphragm, great. Exhale and inhale. What happened when you inhaled without your fist? It felt so much easier. And you got more air in your lungs, didn't you? You fill those lungs in an instant because you've, you've trained your diaphragm to work on the inhale. You can do this sitting on a bus. You can do this anywhere. Don't need a trumpet, and it will help you. Go ahead and practice it. We've got one more to do, and this is called the yoga alternate nostril breathing exercise. It's a bit complicated, but bear with me. I'm going to do it once, and then Jumani and I will do it together. First, you start with a count. Let's start something simple like four. Just go one, two, three, four, and keep that tempo with your foot. Now, you put your hand up and close one nostril with your thumb, and exhale through the open nostril to four beats. Then you close both nostrils, and you hold the air out for four beats. You then open the other nostril, exhale, or inhale rather, hold it in for four beats, and continue the entire process. It works like this. I'm just going to keep time over here. One, two, three. Now, as you can tell, four is a simple count. As you start increasing the count 
and holding these things in longer and holding them out longer, you're actually developing the control over your air and your lungs that's going to benefit you when you play the trumpet. So once again, Jumani, let's move it up to six because I know you're a big guy. Six. Here's our count. We're going to do this and we're going to get it three or four times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Inhale. Six. Great. Remember to get rid of all. Keep going. Keep going. Remember to get rid of all the air in your lungs in that six count and inhale as much as you can in the six count. Let's start again. We've lost track, right? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. What happened? You filled up at about four. Mm -hmm. The whole point of this exercise is to breathe evenly and control your intake and outtake and not to get panicked when you're holding the air out of your lungs or in your lungs. The whole idea of this exercise is to even up the muscle movement mm -hmm. and keep yourself calm. It's a breath control exercise. It's actually very good for your health. So try that for a long time too. Thanks a lot, Jumani. You've been great. Thank Good you. work.